Welcome to my channel. This is a book review of Streams of Living Water by Richard J. Foster, celebrating the great traditions of the Christian faith. As always, if you are interested in the book, there's actually a link in the description below. So I just want to say that this is an incredibly well-written devotional book. Though this is not your typical daily devotional book, there's actually no daily sections, and the content is not light and fluffy, but rather deep and full of inspiring true stories of Christians throughout the past 2,000 years. And so it can be compared to a well-written textbook, credible, well-sourced, and full of useful information that we can apply to our lives. Foster's approach at looking at Christianity as a whole unit makes this book unique. Too often, people try to focus on what divides us. Here, the author talks about the three great streams of Christianity, Catholic, Orthodox, and Protestant, and its subdivisions in a way that brings unity to the diversity of the body and appreciate the different traditions, heroes, and movements within those streams. This book is on the top of my recommendation list for those who are looking to dive deeper into their faith. This book is divided into seven chapters. After the introductory chapter, the last six chapters each cover a Christian tradition. They are as follows, the contemplative tradition, the holiness tradition, the charismatic tradition, the social justice tradition, the evangelical tradition, and the incarnation tradition. In the beginning of each of these sections, there is a long list of movements and notable figures within that tradition. And in the back of the book, there is even an appendix over 70 pages long, which contains about a paragraph for every movement and figure mentioned within those traditions. Foster understands that there is not one tradition that is above the others, and that the movements and figures are also not continued or contained in a single tradition, but rather a spectrum of traditions that overlap and even one notable uh, movement or figure is not just contained in one um, tradition, but in multiple, uh, but normally they're highlighted into one that he chooses. And so one cannot have a partial fruit of the spirit, but all. So there's also another appendix, which contains a substantial church history for the great three streams of Christianity, at least substantial in terms of an appendix, and it includes their missionary movements, all of which I have learned a lot from. And in this book, there are numerous in-depth stories of church fathers, martyrs, leaders, men and women who have left uh, such an impact and legacy. And so I've made, I've taken so many useful notes here in the back of the flyleaf as normally is an awesome indicator of how good a book is. It's actually going to have to be a record for this book. And over here, I have so many um, actually books that are recommended here on so many different pages. And so um, really has been an awesome read and I do recommend this book. So here are some of my favorite quotes, page 93. We could imitate the life of Christ down to the minutest detail and still not be righteous. Our actions in and of themselves can say not a single iota of righteousness. Page 229, starting off with quoting Augustine, he says, In essentials, unity. In doubtful questions, liberty. In all things, charity. So that's Augustine. Then he says, when minor doctrines are elevated to the place of primary importance, they can become grounds for separation. And on last quote found on page 51, the Christian life comes not by gritting our teeth, but by falling in love. If you're looking for a in-depth Christian devotional book or textbook, or just a great book to, to learn more about God, to learn more about the Christian faith, and to dive deeper into the different traditions and, um, and cultures that are there that respects them and doesn't just bash them. This is an amazing book. I actually really do recommend this book. Um, it's been an awesome read. I've already recommended it to quite a few of my friends and I know that they've also recommended it to a few other people as well. And so um, thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you're able just to comment and let me know what you think about this or if you'd like to see another book that you would want me to review. Um, but thank you so much for watching.